Hey, got a question for you guys. Can you see me? I'm looking at my monitor and I've got nothing but black right now. Let me know if you can see me and hear me okay. In the chat, if you would. I see my camera is turned on. But okay. All right. All I'm seeing is nothing but black. So that's good. Thanks, Chris, for that. I appreciate the heads up. Hey, welcome to Motivational Monday. Spring fever is on. What is spring fever? So I got to tell you about this before we get into the content for Motivational Monday. Spring fever is my annual, it's a big annual sale. And what it boils down to is lots of great training at a very reduced price. Lots of training very small price. And the link is below in the description. This is limited time only. This is a spring fever sale. It's this week. So take advantage of it. Go below. If, I mean, if you've been struggling with, you know, thinking, well, you know, I really don't have enough money to get the proper training. You do. And the training is below in the description. Just click the link, go and check it out. The website will tell you all about it. Well, last week we talked a lot, uh, or a couple, a couple of days, we talked about the process talked about the importance of the process of becoming a voice over talent. And um, I wanted to, to, to share something with you. I probably don't do this enough, but this is a testimonial. Now, it's, not, it's not even a testimonial. It's just a gentleman from my voiceover blueprint who sent me a message on Friday, Glenn Chat, And he says, I built, and this is just a part of it, uh, just, just a few lines from it. I've been a part of your voiceover blueprint and you produced my demo two years ago. I recently made the move to full time. Now there's a lot in there. Let's unpack that a little bit. I've been a part of your voiceover blueprint. You produced my demo two years ago and I'm now full time. Last week I talked a lot about process and you have to number one, know the process and then you have to honor the process and follow that. Glenn, in just a couple of sentences, just outlined it for you. He got the proper training. He got involved in the voiceover blueprint. He then had me produce his demo and that your demo is your lead marketing piece. So he got the training. He got the demo. Then he became full-time. It took two years to do it. Now, I have some students who do it much faster than that. I have some that go much slower than that. There are so many variables involved in that, probably the biggest of which is how much time you can put in. But it doesn't matter if it takes you six months or if it takes you six years. If you do everything properly and you follow the process, you will get there. One thing that Glenn doesn't mention, but it is so important, and I know he did it, otherwise he wouldn't be able to report that he's full-time today. He not only bought the voiceover blueprint, it's great, I mean, hey, you can spend all the money you want on everybody's voiceover training programs. There's, there's no lack of that. But not following the program is where people fall short. How many people actually buy training and then never utilize it? Or they decide to jump to the next person. Oh, you know what? This looks too hard. Let me, let me see if this person's got training that looks easier. And they just bump, they just, they just keep moving, jump from one person, one teacher, one guru to the next. They buy this and that and the other, and they never get anything done. But what Glenn did is he not only got the training, but he utilized it and he followed the process until two years later, he became full time. Now, again, I don't know all the particulars here. I'm assuming Glenn, you know, followed his regular career and did this on the side, but I don't, I don't know that with 100% certainty. But the point is this, if you follow the process, do the training, do the demo follow that training, whether it's 15 minutes a day, whether it's an hour a day, whether you do it on a full-time basis, follow that process. And what will happen, the result, if, that, if this is a mathematical equation and then the equal sign pops up, what follows that? It's success. And today, Glenn is full-time. So I want to circle around back to that thought because it's such an important concept, process. Follow the process honor the process because it will take you to where you want to go. Don't get sidetracked. There's a lot of distraction out there. There's a lot of noise. Don't be distracted. You're going to be discouraged. Everybody, I mean, nobody does anything worthwhile and doesn't get discouraged from time to time because not everything's going to go exactly the way you want to. And if you're a full-grown adult, you know that by now. But what you do is you follow the process. When things are good, when things are bad, when things are frustrating, when the economy is good, when the economy is bad, when clients are responding, when they're not, doesn't matter. 
You just follow the process, almost like a machine. Just be a machine. Just do the process every day, and it will take you to where you want to go. Well, thank you for being here. And if you haven't yet, make sure you uh, check in in the live chat. Let me know where you're watching or listening from this morning. We want to do some shout outs. And we've got Rusty from Michigan's Upper Peninsula. Sirius, hello to you. And by the way, Rusty was first in this morning. So congrats, Rusty. And that mad dash should be number one. Sirius was in literally within a fraction of a second, just behind Rusty. And then closely followed by Rick in Des Moines. Uh, we've got Nephi. Happy Motivational Monday to you, Nephi in Knoxville. Emma in Huntington Beach. John in New York. Ethan in Toronto. Mike in New Jersey. Aaron in Columbia, Missouri. Sandra in London, Ontario. Dale in Atlanta. Alex is driving to work in Utah, hoping to replace the drive with just walking into the home studio someday. Alex, if you've got the plan, proper training, and you've got the process, you will you will be walking to your home studio in your pajamas if you so choose here in the not-so-distant future, I'm quite sure. Uh, GS, hello to you in Longview, Washington. Rebecca, good morning to you from your elliptical workout in Michigan. Good for you, Rebecca. Running behind schedule today. Mallory, my daughter, recently started back up on the elliptical and was working it pretty hard. And <laughs> she's been trying to watch her walk this past week was, I mean, it, it was tough. It was tough. She's doing, she's doing well now. Dennis, how are you doing? Good morning. Yeah, in the neighborhood, my neighbor, Dennis. Bob, how are you doing in Reesville, North Carolina? Chris, thanks for checking in. Sandra, hello. Uh, Wally, Mark, good morning to you from California Central Valley. Sandra, good morning. Uh, Anna Biscotta says, good morning, everyone. Wayne's in Port Orchard, Washington. Kathleen in Columbus, Ohio, my, my homeland. I love, I love Columbus and surrounding area. I Man, that's where I grew up. It's where I spent my uh, broadcast days, not all of them, but a big chunk of them. Ralph in Cedar Falls, Iowa. Phil is in Tokyo. Mark, hello to you in Snowy Estes Park, Colorado. Uh, Earth Sun Trucker, good morning as I head down to Georgia on the road today. Riley, good morning to you from somewhere in Texas, currently traveling in San Antonio not driving. Mike, good motivational Monday from South Alabama. Christine in Wilmington, Delaware. Corey in Wisconsin. Scotty had to move my golf clubs to get to my snowblower. Oh, wah, wah, wah. sorry about that one, Scotty in South Dakota. I went out in my garage this weekend and I, I grabbed a, a club. Just, I just had to hold it in my hands and swing it just once, you know, just got to get, got to get ready for it. I'm excited. Uh, golf season for us, even here in the Midwest, not that far away. We've got Dave in New York City, Marla in Texas. Zach, good morning to in West Texas. Landed my first voiceover job over the weekend. Getting started today. Zach, this is my bell that I reserve for first-time jobs, and that's to celebrate you today, Zach. That is fantastic. Way to go. Rita in Tucson, Arizona. Hey, Rob, greetings and good evening from Bali, Indonesia. Rob, glad to see you made the trip out that way. Have a, have a good time. James, good morning to you in Salem, Oregon. Joy, hello to you in Southfield, Michigan. Ty, uh, I'm sorry, Gene in Dallas, Fort Worth. Hey, Megan, how are you doing? Uh, he's in Manitoba, uh, has some big projects coming up. Let's have a great week. Yes, Jason, hello to you from the blizzard in Kearney, Nebraska. I didn't realize there was a blizzard in Kearney. Well, I hope the snowblower is working. Uh, oh, we've got Om in North Queensland, Australia, drinking all sorts of concoctions to reduce my mouth noise. If you come across one that really works, you want to make sure you patent it and sell it because you could make a fortune in the voiceover community because we all suffer with uh, mouth noise to some degree. Trying not to close my mouth between sentences. Om, that, there you go. That's the way to do it. Uh, that's the trick that I use that helps me more than anything else. Let's see here. Richard, good morning to you in San Francisco. Tina, a lovely Monday afternoon in Sweden. Ty in Warsaw, Indiana. Carly in Arizona. Wally, every day you give me inspiration. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, Wally. Um, fail to plan, plan to fail, says Ben Franklin. 
Brandon, good morning. Bill from a wet Austin, Texas. Good morning to you, Brandon. Hello, Richard, who says, um, oh, it's John. Oh, Johnny, sorry, San Francisco. Man, sorry about that. I got there eventually. Julian in Ireland. Richard. Good morning. Thanks, guys, for being here. I so appreciate it. Well, the spring fever sale is on, but not for long. So remember, if you want lots of training, great. My best training in a very reduced, very reduced, a very affordable price. Link is below in the description. Check it out. Have a great day. Start off your week on the right foot, and I will see you tomorrow morning.